Hello everyone, welcome to another Leisure Suit Larry game, uh, this time we're playing Leisure Suit Larry 5, Passionate that Penny does a little undercover work, again, pretty long title, and you may, uh, you may wonder, wait a minute, Booth, the last Larry game was Larry 3, what happened to Larry 4? Well, that doesn't exist, it's a long story, but... What I believe, there's several rumors, but what I believe is the truth is that, uh, one second, an East Coast meeting is not going too well. But you know, ever since LPs uh, came out back in the 50s, our recording industry's subliminal message campaign, Just Do Drugs, has been a resounding success. Nice. I think that the text will stay there if I don't... Oh, no. Drug sales have never been better, and... Prices remain firm as this slide shows. Because I want to, I want to explain the missing uh, pleasure four. The uh, discounting our disastrous push to quadraphonic results have been most gratifying. I said pleasure four. I mean Larry four. Now to you, Bruno. Thanks, Vinny. Boss. You know our pornography division also enjoyed a period of explosive growth. Uh, this slide shows. As this slide shows. Fortunately, after a quarter century of positive ROI, recent results have been flaccid. <laughs> flaccid, get it? We attempt to counter this trend with a heavy investment in rap music, thinking teenagers' continuous exposure to pornographic lyrics would help sales of our wider product line. Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But the result is obvious, painfully declining penetration. <laughs> Another pun. Oh, even the chart looks like a uh, willy. Our market research failed to foresee the widespread growth of the cable. Yeah, cable was big. Even when we forced through rapidly reduced VCR prices in the early 80s, it just didn't help our X-rated movie sales. No one buys them. Because you can watch them on cable. Could watch them on cable. Right now it's the internet. Why should they, when they can use the remote controls to flip through channel after channel of almost the same stuff in the comfort of their own homes? Yeah. Just like the internet today. Now even the networks are getting into the act. I understand the problem, but I want a solution. Yeah, <laughs> he's turning red. Six months later, and a continent away, another board of woe. And so a corporate yes man continues. I'm pleased to say our contest to find the sexiest woman in America to serve as the hostess on America's Sexiest Home Videos has been a resounding success. Okay. Sounds good, Biffy. The character portrayed by our hostess, who we've decided to name Vanna Black, will be one exceptional woman. Will she now? I think that's Patty. We've searched for a woman, beautiful yet with those all-American girl next door looks. A woman virginal and untouchable, and yet a woman who is sexy and slutty. We've received thousands of submissions, and thanks to hard work by me and my colleagues, narrowed the field down to three finalists. Also, what is that plate holding in the center of the table? 
I intend to have these women flown here first class, wined and dined in regal style, then outfitted with the finest fashions Rodeo Drive has to offer. I don't know, your voice changes, man. They'll want for nothing, and on the morning of the edition, champagne baths for all. I've arranged national press coverage, of course. Of course, Biffy. In short, everything is proceeding according to schedule. The music is a bop, though. There's a polite smattering of applause from the, the other lackeys around the conference table. Why is there two times a V there? But wait, Biffy. We all know that if we bring these women to Hollywood to audition under those circumstances, they'll all be sexy. Will they? I think they will. Silas Scrumol? Yes, sir, Mr. Scrumol. Isn't that what we wanted, Mr. Scrumol? Bravo, Mr. Scrumol. But we're looking for a woman so oversexed she'd drop what she's doing for any man, any time, any place, and for any loser, any dork, no matter how lame. So you basically want a, um, a marionette? Yes, sir, Mr. Scrumol. Isn't that what we wanted, Mr. Screwball? Bravo, Mr. Screwball. Screw them all, I got it. I've changed my mind. Now I think we should hold a blind audition where the woman, women don't know they're being auditioned. Silas, screw them all. <laughs> got it. Yes, sir, Mr. Screwball. Isn't that what we wanted, Mr. Screwball? Bravo, Mr. Screwball. But, with all the respects, Mr. Screwball, it's impossible. We need videotapes of their auditions for our own uh, personal review purposes. There's no way we could follow the guy around without her seeing us. Yeah, I think there is. Give him a handicap. Well, yes, uh, we do need those tapes to review, but... What if we could find an additioner so inept, so sexist, so lame, so unappealing that it would take the sexiest woman in America to find him attractive? Wait, how does that work? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to connect the dots, but I can't. Great idea, Mr. Screwball. Of course, Mr. Screwball. Masterful stroke, Mr. Screwball. But so, uh, Mr. Screwball, how will we ever find somebody so lame? And uh, enter Larry. Coffee! Someone wants coffee. All right, so we're in the game right now. I can't finish my story about Leisure Suit Larry 4. The thing is, what I, what I think uh, is the correct rumor is that El Lowe said when he finished up 3, that was the ending where Larry and Patty were basically creating the games, creating the, the, the whole meta thing. And um, he said that there will never be a fourth Larry game because the trilogy has ended. And then years later, suddenly, there... Um, there were more interests in creating a Legislative Larry game, and he stood by his decision back then. There will never be a fourth Larry game. And then they made a story about how developers started working, but someone uh, lost the floppy disks and they could never refine them again. And the person working on it was obviously Larry because he was creating the games. And so the Leisure Suit Larry 4 game was titled The Missing Floppies. So if you look it up, there's actually a list with the Larry games and then Larry 4 is The Missing Floppies. But if you look into it, it's like, oh yeah, the game doesn't, it was never made because the floppies were missing. I like that rumor. Coffee! Anyways, someone wants coffee, uh, but we are here. As you can see, this kind of looks a lot like the VGA remake of Leisure Suit Larry 1 because they used a similar engine uh, like this one. And they made this game and then they used the same engine to create, uh, recreate the first game. So let's take a little look around. 
Evidently, this company is the home of America's Sexiest Home Videos. You've heard of that show, especially since you work here. Copy! I know. I know. Art is one thing, but this is something else. Our founder, Silas Screwman. Wait. Copy! The text goes... Okay, we're in a tutorial mode. The water cooler is the office equipment with which you are most familiar. I know. Coffee. That looks interesting. A genuine engraved plastic presented to Porn Prod Corp for their humanitarian efforts in the field of free speech and the commercial development of the steel reinforced videotape. March 10th. 1976. Wow, it's a genuine city. Alright, let's. Coffee! Yeah, yeah, let's grab the coffee then. I know. Coffee! Alright, you grab the pot from the warmer and head for Mr. Screwball's office, eager to once again kiss up to the boss. There we go. Hi guys, she said cheerfully. So, who wanted Java? Uh, you may begin with me, boy. So, you did decide to do exactly that. Here you go, Mr. Screwmall. You say your best suck up tone of voice. May I freshen that for you? Oh, Yow! damn. Uh, whoops. You clumsy idiot. What adult. Who hired this fool? Sexy women. Why, even the sexiest woman in America wouldn't... Wouldn't what? Hey, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Hmm, says Silas, thinking fast and furiously. Ah, uh, say, buddy, a uh, nice leisure suit. I'm sure I know you. Uh, but what exactly is your name? Larry, Larry Laffer. Why, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer, you reply. It's always the same. How quaint, he grumbles. Your first and middle names are exactly the same. Well, never mind about that. I have a proposal I'd like to make to you, Daffer. Now here's the deal. Daffer? My name is not Daffer. You see, Lofner. <laughs> Got to find a hostess for our new television show. Are we the ones? Yes, I know, you offer proudly. I'm the chief tape rewinder and sterilizer on this project. Oh my goodness. At least we got a job this time. You conveniently neglect to mention the Betamax division portion of your job description. Betamax was a uh, VCR type. And at a fine job you're doing, I suppose. Well, Larcher, we've used those audition tapes to narrow the field down to three finalists. But we're, um, uh, he stumbles, too, uh, uh, busy to hold their auditions here. Yeah, back in the day you had VHS and Betamax. Oh, and also Video 2000. So you want to visit them in their, um, home environments. See them in their natural habitat, so to speak. Catch them au naturel, if you can. Sure. You understand many of the words in that last sentence. <laughs> okay. Uh, you do know how to audition girls, don't you, loafer? What? Audition three women? No problem, boss. I'm your guy. Are you now? Why, it's like a dream come true. In fact, it's like several of your dreams come true. When those babes find out why you're visiting, they'll fall all over you. Not that you mind, of course, anything for your company. Is that true? But, loner, if you tell them who you are or of your powerful position here at PPC, it could easily invalidate the data. We want to see their reactions to a nice, normal guy like you, Lenny. <laughs> yes, he's called me like five different names already. 
it's fine. I must be certain so you don't take advantage of the situation, so take this. You're not alone, or it's dangerous to go alone. Wow, Mr. Screwball, you say, unable to contain your excitement. I can always use another pocket protector. Mine's getting really vintage. Pocket protector? What is that? Lippert, you fool. This is no ordinary pocket protector. It's a brand new imported miniaturized dot five locks Rob Low model complete video studio merely disguised as some dork's pocket protector. Okay, what does that mean? I knew that, you pretend. That smile. You must never let a client suspect you are filming them or that you represent the show. They must each think of you only as plain Larry. Larry Limper. Because limp, yeah. I can handle it, sir, you say excitedly. I uh, hope you can, Larry. I hope so. If you can pull this off, Lipper, I promise you a really big promotion. Perhaps even to assistant associate director. What do you think of that? Assistant associate? You think, wow, this could be the big break I've been hoping for. I promise to give it everything I got. Good job, Larry, with your big nose. Good. I really want you to take charge, Larry. Take whatever you need from here in the office. You're really on your own. I'll look forward to personally viewing those audition tapes when you return. Okay, so we can walk around the office, grab anything that we need. I know exactly what we need. But remember, because this little guy is such a new model and because it's so tiny, its recording time and battery life are severely limited. Be sure you recharge after every girl. That's some uh, good information. Will do. <laughs> Always a good idea, you think? Okay, Wapner. You've got one, maybe two days max. You'd better grab the girls' bios and get going. Alright, so we know who we need to seduce. What a dream assignment. Travel across the United States, visiting three of the sexiest women in America, and you get paid for doing it. Larry, it looks like things are really beginning to go your way. As always. And then you screw up. As always. That's basically what happens. That's your karma, Larry. Of course, something makes you think you've had that thought before. Like three times, maybe. If you would like us, uh, like to use a password to protect this game, select password below. Um, why bother? Would you like to restore a previously saved game? No, thank you. All right. So we are here in the office of America's Sexiest Home Videos. We have played the intro, the prologue. We know what's going on. We need to find three women and seduce them. Did we get some stuff? No, we, are, we got the pocket protector. Which is a camera. That's all we have. So we need to uh, find out what girls, which girls we need to videotape, uh, audition, so to speak, and then send them back to the office. Where am I, you wonder? What's happened to me? What am I doing here? We will find out all the answers to that questions. Oh, the last you remember, you were writing your life story as a computer game, sitting on a deck with a half-naked woman, overlooking a beautiful lake nestled high in the Sierra Nevada. That is correct. That was the ending of LSL 3. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this first episode of Let's Just Larry 5. Passionate Betsy does a little undercover work. And I'll see you next time.